Continuing on with problem 18 in chapter 12 of predict the product, we're going to look at parts D and E. So in keeping with our general strategy of classifying what the starting material is, we find we have an alcohol, and in this case it's tertiary. We're treating a tertiary alcohol with chromic acid. So you need to recognize that tertiary alcohols, regardless of what the oxidation conditions are, will not react. So this is no reaction. The reason there's no reaction is because there's not a hydrogen bonded to the carbon bearing the alcohol. And that's a requirement to do an oxidation. So since there's no hydrogen bonded to this carbon, you can't do an oxidation across that CO single bond. So this is no reaction. In part E, we're starting with an aldehyde. And treating that with chromic acid. So chromic acid is going to oxidize the aldehyde up to the carboxylic acid. That's the next highest oxidation state. So you can think of it simplistically as substituting the hydrogen for a hydroxide. So here we have two oxygens, now we have three oxygens. So this is an acid. So this is a special case and it occurs via a hydrate. And a hydrate is basically like adding water across that aldehyde CO double bond. So here's the hydrogen that gets eliminated when we formed the acid. 